the first thing to do to put a project under git version control is to set up a local git repository and we are going to look at that in this video i am going to use spring tool suite which is a variant of eclipse with egit pre-installed if you are using a different variant of eclipse ensure that egit is pre-installed in your eclipse environment and if you are not using eclipse but using some different ide you will need to find out the equivalent options and menus that we are going to discuss here in this video and that should be easy once you understand the concepts here and if you are not using an ide or you are using an ide which does not have support for git in that case you will need to use git command line or some other independent git gui in which case also you will need to find out the equivalent commands of what we are going to discuss here and that also should not be difficult once you understand the concepts that i am going to show you here so i have a project in my workspace that i am going to put under git version control and for that as i told you the first thing would be to create a local git repository and to create a local repository for that i need to right click here and then go to team and then share project i need to choose git here and then click on next use or create repository in the parent folder of project this this is the option that we want and then i need to tick here when i tick here it's telling you that creation of repository in the eclipse workspace is not recommended do not bother about this warning and just go ahead and create the repository uh, this is the button using which you can create the repository once you click on this button now you see that this is ticked and then let's click on finish so now the repository is created you see the repository icon here and now that the repository is created we'll need to check in the, our source code let's do that by right clicking here and then going to team and then commit here apart from the commit message we need to select all the files which we need should be going into the, our repository and here you see that we are being asked whether to check in the id specific files like class path project settings and all which we do not want to go into the repository neither we want that git should be asking us repeatedly about whether these files should be going into the repository for that git has got a beautiful option you can put the refer uh, references to these files in the dot git ignore file in your project and then git will never ask you again whether these files should be put in the repository so before we commit let's go ahead and edit this dot getting your file and put the references of these files inside that we don't see the dot getting your file here because that's a hidden file and to edit that let's go to the git perspective and then we will find that file inside this working directory here here is the file here you see that already slash target slash is added here that means any files which will be inside this slash target including the slash target directory will be ignored by git while checking in and so now we need to put more things here we need to put this dot settings then we need to put this dot class path we also need to put slash dot project okay this dot git is a part that is actually where your repository resides you don't need to put that so with that now let's save and then let's go back to the spring perspective and now if we commit you see that those files are no more visible here so now let's give a commit message let me give the message as first commit and then let me select all the files i can select all the files by clicking here and then let me commit 
yeah it is now committed and you see this icon now on all these folders let's now try to do some change on some of your source folder uh, file and let's see how it goes for example let me go and change something in this application.java file now suppose i'll just add a comment here and then i save the file you see when i save the file now i have got this greater than icon it's saying that this file is now updated and it has not yet gone into the repository now to commit our project again i need again to go to the team and commit and here i need to give some commit message added a comment and then you see here that this is already ticked this is the file basically we have changed if you are changing an existing file then that will already be ticked and if you are if you have added a new file that will not be ticked by default and in that case you need to go here and select all to add the new files so now let me commit again yeah now that i have committed that now that i greater than icon has gone and now the second commit has gone into our local repository if you want to look at the changes or the commits the past commits the history then you need to go to the team and show in history see this is the history view here you see that we had this first commit this is the commit id in which and these files were added so that this plus sign is here and then this is the comment and this is the second commit which has got added a comment is the comment for that and then you see that this is the head that means this is the latest commit and this is the master branch we are going to talk about branching in more details later on so let's conclude this video here and in the next video i am going to show you how to share your project with others with other developers or even if you are the only developer how to work from different environments like from your pc from your laptop from your mac from your office from your home etc